Hey guys, it's Clay with uh, Minute Ministry, the last video before I get editing again, supposedly. Um, so I wanted to talk to you real quick. We've been going through the same scripture, Luke 22, verses 31 and 32. And, I'm, you know, like as you look through the last four days, we've taken some major concepts out of the same two verses. And I think the big thing that I wanted to share with you is that, look, all of scripture is deeper and better than what we think. You know, like we could read through this again, but you've already gotten four different things out of two verses, and they're all big. And, well, you know, it reminds me of, you know, like uh, I remember back a while back whenever I was struggling trying to make sense of some of the things that were going on around me and the way that my, my theology. And I wanted to know some deep questions. I wanted to know some things that I don't know that can be known. And um, one of the scriptures that kind of came to mind was back in Genesis. In Genesis 1 where it said that God created the graded light. said, let there be light. And there was light, right? And he saw that it was good. And then he separated the light from the dark. And all of a sudden I was like, wait. So wait, there's light and dark in the same spot that doesn't make sense I can't see light and dark at the same time I can see shadows but I can't see darkness I can't see light and dark in the same place the light cast out the darkness and it it was like oh this was a scripture that I read many times over and I didn't get that revelation until all of a sudden I'm asking myself God you know is it predestination or is it free will and all of a sudden, you know, like he brings me to the scripture that says, I separated the light from the darkness. And that, that means that they were together before. And all of a sudden I became comforted. Not that I had an answer, but because I knew that God was so much bigger than my simple understanding of my question. And I had to turn to trust him. And so scripture is that way. Scripture is so much deeper than what we give it credit for. It's not just a set of stories, but it is God breathed and God inspired in order for us to be able to connect and understand God. And the more that we become passionate about our own reading of the scriptures, the more that we will start to understand who God is. And so I just want to encourage you, don't just read. Ask God before you even read to say, God, Will you just open up these scriptures to me? Can you just show me and share with me and, and just enlighten me the things that you want me to understand today? And allow him to show you things that you've never seen before. Allow him to dig deep into scripture with you in order to show who he is. Because God wants us to know who he is. And if we ask earnestly and we seek out, he promises that he's going to deliver. So that being said, as you go through this weekend... Um, as you go through your week, spend some time looking at scripture, looking at stories that you've read uh, hundreds of times, that you've read or heard in, in, in uh, service hundreds of times. And God say, say, God, show me that you're deeper and that you're more than this, that you're more than my understanding of this. So thank you all for taking a minute. Hopefully Monday we will have editing software working. All right, have a good one, guys.